Good morning! What time is it? Later. No, oh, it's dangerous. So where are we on our way to? We're going to a swim right now. But where? Oh, Long Branch, New Jersey. How much time do I have to get ready? And stay to the left to buy 276. Like two weeks. Pennsylvania Turnpike. No, one hour and 22 minutes. Where are you going to get ready? I have all my stuff to get ready in the bag. What am I going to do first? We're going to relax and depuff our eyes for the next 10 to 15 minutes, I think. What do you think? Is it a great idea? Stay to the left to buy. Then we will continue on. Don't worry. I'll be drinking my coffees while we do this. Now, time to brush this and do something with it. Ooh, ah. And now, I will do some facial care, including sunscreen. Very important, right? What you eating? Brioche. What's brioche? Red. Yes. The sun is out, the birds are chirping, and... Oh, is this like a... Sure. And we're driving. Oh, and I have to so, put on. how long is the swim you're doing today? What? How long is the swim you're doing today? Minutes or distance? How about distance? It's one mile swim. That sounds really hard for the normal person. Is that hard for you? Too bad. It's hard for you. Right. We are here. Right now, I am sitting on the beach waiting for Scott's race to even begin. I'm right by the finish line, which looks like this. And hopefully we'll be able to catch him coming through. 89. There he is. Why is he there? Over the batting mat. He pulls his GoPro out of his hands. Let's go, Scott. It's coming to the yard. 171. Okay, and the champion has finished. How does it feel to be a champion? So good. I got so much uh, sand, or so much water. My goggles is rough. Yeah. How was the current? Like stale. That's good though, isn't it? It's not bad or good. It's just yeah, no. get a little push. <laughs> I can't see anything. We're almost home from the race. We stopped and got. Important Wawa, and what's on the agenda for the rest of the day? Uh, I know we're doing food shopping, and I'm gonna make a pizza for dinner. Ooh, that's that sounds like fun. Anything else? Oh, uh, no, nothing else. Probably, I mean, take a nap. Oh, Burke has to do things. <laughs> mm -hmm. We will be back to the beach next weekend. We'll be in Ocean City for Labor Day. <laughs> LDW. Hey, it's Monday and I haven't updated you in quite a while, but I do have not the greatest news. And that is that Luigi officially did give Mario ringworm. We've known this for about a week now. We have been treating him with the same medicine as Luigi. However, he doesn't seem to be healing as quickly as Luigi, and I'm not sure if that's an aged thing or not, but I did consult my sister-in-law who is currently going to veterinary school and she did give me a recommendation of something to buy, which I ordered on Amazon yesterday and it won't be here till tomorrow, but I just want to, I think I want to give him some sort of a semi bath today in the meantime because he just looks sad and for some reason his fur does not like the medicine as much as Luigi's fur. So Luigi doesn't really have residue afterwards whereas Mario does. Let me see if I can show you. So Mario's fur is a little bit greasy right now and I want to use the ringworm shampoo and see if we can clean that up but as you can see. The ringworm is how like his head looks a little patchy. So like you can see his coat's like this black shiny color typically, but his like ears are like red and patchy. 
and to my understanding he does not feel this and is not aware i guess but i'm waiting for scott to get home to try to wash his head basically i am a little nervous because on the directions it says to make sure not to get it in his eyes and the ringworm is basically like here up on his head so that's probably going to be our biggest struggle i didn't really know what to do so i'll show you my setup so i kind of laid out some towels in the kitchen sink to put him in and then i did put the <laughs> ringworm shampoo in this squirt bottle now my biggest fear is it says that you need to leave on the shampoo for five to ten minutes which i have no idea how we are going to do that that's going to be a struggle i have some towels here which i'm going to probably put the shampoo directly on and then rub it directly on his face and i have a bowl that i'm going to put some warm water in so that we don't have to worry about ever actually turning on the sink i feel like the sink running over him would freak him out even more so i want to make it as like normal for him as possible but i don't know how it's going to turn out all right it's about to happen we're getting the mario Lather went perfectly somehow. This is a perfect cat if you've never seen one before. Mario, you are a breed of cat on your own. So you can see right there where his ringworm is on his, on his head. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're gonna feel so much better with clean fur. Hello. It is now Wednesday and I am actually doing my first ever peel off mask from glam glow so maybe i will peel that for you guys but i did want to update you about mario so yesterday in the mail from amazon the lime sulfur came so this is the bottle and basically you mix it with water to make the solution and what i read online was you kind of squirt it on something else to put it on him so i use like a cotton pad and, and i put it on him i mean it smells like sulfur which essentially smells like rotten eggs and I did feel bad that I had to do that to him but I'm hoping it's going to be one of the things that helps him get better let's see how they're doing they're just over here being lazies how are you doing like to me his fur doesn't look as bad as it did a couple of days ago he doesn't really want me touching it but he's doing okay over here and and this guy up here I think he's healing well his was all right above this eye and on his one ear he didn't have quite as much as little Mario but I think since doing the bath and starting this lime sulfur treatment it's helping Mario out a bit what do you think buddies you feeling better okay it's been 30 minutes and that's how long I was supposed to leave this on but it like doesn't feel like it's gonna peel off I don't let's see if I can get it started maybe i made it too thin i feel like i put too thin of a layer on because it doesn't feel like it's gonna come up hold on let me go get a mirror oh my god this is not gonna come off crap oh my god it's stuck oh my god what am i supposed to do oh wait here we go we got a little piece here okay tip for the future put on a much thicker layer <laughs> which is interesting because i find in the past sometimes i've put on thick layers of other peel off masks and it hasn't dried which is why i went easy on this one anyway i think this is going to be the end of this vlog i know it's a shorter vlog but i really want our weekend at ocean city to be its own standalone video i mean hopefully we do something fun Comment down below what you would like to see us doing at the beach next weekend. I can guarantee there will be some beach. There will be pizza. Maybe some ice cream. Let me know if you want to see how I'm packing or getting ready or if you want to see the drive or anything at all. Okay, these like last little like flecks covering my face. I'm just gonna wash them off. I'm not gonna sit here and slowly peel every little piece. But I did like the mask. It was the purple firming mask. I have like a little sample size of it. Next time I'll go thicker. <laughs> and yeah, that is it for this vlog. Thanks for sticking around, watching Scott swim, Mario get a bath, me peel things off my face. See ya in Ocean City.